is Alma and welcome to my book journey. I am in South Dakota on vacation with my family and we are stopping in at different places to look around and just see the sights. We're headed to Mount Rushmore right now and but I wanted to do a little video here of some of our places that we're going to stop but also of course every time I do go on vacation or anything like that I tried to hit and go a little bit of little free library hunting and so I'm going to put that in this video as well to show you and also I'm planning on going to a couple of uh, really cute thrift stores that I've been to before when I've been in town that I'm looking forward to and so and as you can see it is a beautiful day and just gorgeous just gorgeous day so all right I'll put in the rest of the video here now is the Lady of Dignity, and she's beautiful. Just beautiful. Surrounding area is gorgeous. She was just built in 2016, and she represents all the tribes of South Dakota. Just amazing artistry. Look at that, I'm like, wow, oh, that's the one mile ahead. There they are! I saw them first. Oh! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, we need to have a turnout. <laughs> oh, look at that. Turn that turnout right there. Oh, what? So you can see when they started doing his body. Yeah, his you can see his like, lapel. We <sighs> made it! Amazing. Look at that. That's amazing. Amazing. If you live in an area where there's a lot of tornadoes, <laughs> that's not reasonable, but you can get used to stuff like that. So hopefully you get used to it. I'll be that kind of person. Yeah, yeah. There's a tornado just coming straight towards me. I'll be in my. I think you probably already are. Of course, I'll be just taking a picture. Yeah, let me just, I'm trying to record here, just the area, just the... Okay, we are in South Dakota for a family wedding, and so before our wedding today, we were out early this morning venturing to see free little libraries, little free libraries. Okay. Got some good ones in here. So we have children's on the bottom. Boxcar children. This book, but this one right here, and then all right. So that is Little Free Library. One. Okay, Little Free Library number two in South Dakota. Let's oh look at the cute little fish. That's cute. We got tons of books in here. Okay. 
I have that one already. Let's see what other books. We've got a lot of younger books. Oh, I've heard this one is supposed to be really good. The Lemon War. Um, 36, oh, that's kind of cool. A lot of uh, lives of oh, I like that one. Lewis and Clark. <sighs> Heroes of the Revolution. In space. Somebody might be a homeschooler. <laughs> two pilots that's kind of cool oh I want to take something but I don't know what I want to take I have a lot of Lois and Clark stuff and I have a lot of this stuff too I'm tempted to take this one because it's the Harry Potter one but I don't think I have figure out how to open it <laughs> and see what we've got in here some kind of beauty book okay I've got to keep an eye on because I lately when I've been out doing little free libraries I meant I've been missing <laughs> books. I'm not catching everything, so I'm going to try to take my time today and just drop something. A lot of Joanne Fluky books, and I think these are like cozy mysteries. There's quite a few of them up here. Um, I don't know which one's the first one, though. I think it's this one. This one might be the first one. The first. Yep, this one says the first one. That's a possibility, because I've always wanted to read one of her books. So we'll set that right there. And let's see what we have in here. Uh, sealed. Smiles to go. A Nancy Drew book. children's books but you never know what you might find in here <laughs> this title is crazy coffee coffee made her insane uh, yeah that's kind of weird that's funny. <laughs> coffee does not make me insane. I love my coffee. Okay. So I'm going to put that back so people can see it. But this was a pretty good one. And a cute little... thing for your dog dog treats inside I just love that all right it's pretty um clean and everything so it's well kept so let's see what we've got 
probably gonna take something from here. Let's see. Like the little wolf treats. So we have it organized. It looks like children's and paperbacks on the bottom. I just got this book out of the dust. Babysitters. Robin Carr, I've heard about her. And let's see what we have on top. Uh, Dreams of My Father. <gasps> this is a great book. I might take this one. Even though I've already read it. If you haven't read this one, I highly recommend it. It's such a good book. But let's see what else is here. Uh, Mr. What's this one? Mr. Lemoncello's Library. Have I heard about this book? I think I have. Is it a one and done or is this part of a series? I can't remember now. Okay, that one might be a possibility too. Um, here's a Francine Rivers book. Uh, going through Rachel Hollis, I've heard about her. Mockingjay. Well, I probably shouldn't take that because I've already read it. Somebody else needs to, to read that one. Let's put those back up here. And I'm probably not going to take this one either because I leave that for a, a child. But yep, this one was a really good one. Really nicely set up. So. This one is out in front of a church and it's Sunday, so I'm <laughs> hopefully catching people between services. But isn't it beautiful? It's just a beautiful box. And so let's see. I have to figure out how to open it. Okay. And we have quite a few in here. Let's see if anything catches my eye. A lot of Christian fiction here. Here's Christy. I always wanted to read that one. Uh -huh. mm. And then the bottom has a bunch of children's books. I actually have that one. I'm, I'm like, I'm tempted to get that, but I think I have it already. So I don't want to grab that. Let's see. Alrighty. Oh, there's some um, Chronicles of Narnia. Have this book at home. Okay. All right. That is a really nice one. Let me see. I think this front door goes. This one goes first, and then this one. Just a really beautiful, beautiful one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That little sign down there. Dog hook. Take, take a book, leave a book. Here's the next one. And let's see what we got here. Sorry, it's hard to see because of the sun.
look at this one. He will cover you with his feathers and he will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Love that. Psalm 91 verse 4. This one is in a really beautiful area. Love the... So let's see what they have. The last gunfight. Got some... Huh. I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought they'd have a lot more. The last gun for the real story of the shootout. Like, oh, you know what? I'm going to grab this one because I think this one my husband would really love to read. And then I'm just going to leave this one kidnapped in Kansas. And I'll stick it up here with the rest of the... I'll put that up here with the rest of the ones. And I'll take this one for my hubby because I think he will enjoy it. But yeah, I'm kind of... Huh, wish there was more books in there. Because it's really nice. Oop. Okay, here's the next one. This one's really cute. It's out front of the little house. A little pad you can walk up to. Let's see what we got. Susan Wood. Charles, Charles Stanley book. And quite a few. Oh, this one, they're Mandy. Progress. I think I, I already have that at the house. A lot of children's books here. And okay. A cute one. Well kept. Nice. This one's interesting. It's got a little uh, screen there, I guess, if you want to take it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this is cute. I love the white little box. And let's see here. What we have some kids stuff at the bottom. Here is the only Agatha Christie book that I've ever read. <laughs> I just got this one too, um, this Agatha Christie, but I, I picked this up. That's kind of a cool old copy, copy of it though. Summer of the Monkeys. This used to be uh, my brother, my older brother, his favorite book, Summer of the Monkeys. Yeah, he loved that book. You know what, I really want to get it because that was his favorite, so I'm gonna set that aside. <laughs> and then just a bunch of Agatha Christie books up here, but like old copies. And uh, yeah, I'll get even back there. There's all Agatha Christie old books. So I'm gonna leave, this kind of goes in this, uh, I'm gonna leave this book and it kind of goes with this box actually, so that and I'm gonna take that one really nice one okay here's a cute little blue one it's right outside of a school so I'm, I imagine it's mostly kids books but let's just look and see what we have in here Prince of Egypt another Harry Potter book, but I actually have this one, so that's cool. Um, Goosebumps. Let's just see if there's anything in here. I love that, the drama queen. Yep. So I'm, I have the first two books of Harry Potter, so if I find book three, that would be great, because that's be the next one. I did see book four earlier today, but I need book three first. Okay, so this this little free library was actually on our and on the app. We just passed it, and so I told Kenny, "Hey, let's go check that out." So 
This one has, we've got, what's this one? Some kind of fantasy. What's this one? It's Harry Potter, the Cursed Child. Isn't that one of our... I might have to get this one. Or maybe not. I don't know. I know Cheryl will have... Will. Because I like this one too. <laughs> of course, you know, when I'm out of books, but that, that's a cool one too. And I, it's, it's supposed to be about a, um, a, oh yeah, Brigham Young. taking this one because I have not read any of the Harry Potter books and it's going to take me a while before I even get to this book so I'd rather leave it for some somebody to read right away so but that one was a really good one that was, was really good okay here's another little uh free little library little free library that was not on the app that we just passed happened to pass and so let's see what we have in here got some Bibles Agatha Christie oops sorry keep forgetting okay we got some Bibles I got the Christie stuff and yeah, been seeing a lot of Agatha Christie's out today. <laughs> so that's kind of cool, right? So that was a little extra one that wasn't on our list. That might be our last one for today. What's the town called? What? Wall. Wall, okay. All right, we just got into Wall, the city of Wall, and guess what I came upon? So, let's see. Okay, this is the last free little library 
the trip, I think. And so this one's in Iowa. In Iowa. And I don't have my glasses on. Looks like it's a bunch of kids. Kids books. Pencils. A lot of kids books. So this is a nice one. Nice kids one for this area. Because it's a nice neighborhood that has probably has a lot of kids in it. Nice cute little bench and really sweet. Thrift store. This is called Thrift World, and I heard there's a lot of great, or hopefully there'll be a lot of books in here. We'll see. Oh, I thought you had a list. I used to. Do you even have that? Have you read that one? Let's see what they have. Okay. Okay. So the last time I came to visit family in Iowa, I went to this um, little thrift shop. Thrift shop called You Hope. And I was amazed at how many books they had. And I ended up buying a bunch of them here. So I've been looking forward to coming back. And hopefully they still have a lot of books. So let's go see.
I'm back home and we had a wonderful, wonderful trip. It was a long, a long drive and I'll, I'll show a little map here <laughs> or here of uh, how far we actually drove. This was a wild, um, a wild long ride. It, it wasn't, and I hadn't really even really thought about it until we got back and I, I told Ellie, let's go look at, look at our map and see, you know, how far we went and we went pretty, pretty far. But it was fun. We got to see uh, family in Iowa, and then we headed to South Dakota to see some some sites that I've always wanted to see ever since I was a child. So it was like a bucket, you know, a check off your your bucket list. And then it was really fun, a good experience for my daughter too to see to see everything. And so I was really happy, really blessed that we were able to make that that trip with the family and things and see people. And so I had got this um, little souvenir rock. This was actually a stone that was carved from the, um, the crazy bull, uh, crazy, not crazy bull, crazy horse um, monument that they're in the process of building. And it's gonna take a long time when we saw the history of, of when they first started to do that and the original sculptor you know said in an interview that he didn't even think of course it wasn't going to be even done in his lifetime and you know he was thinking you know in 100 years hope you know who knows if it'll it'll be accomplished by then but they've done a lot of work and they still have quite a bit more to do but it was really really wonderful to go out and, and see that so it was really cool but anyway so now um and and i have shown you in, before <laughs> different little pictures and things of our trip. So that is, um, that was fun. But also now since um, when I, every time I leave town and go to a different town, we kind of set aside uh, just a short period of time where we can look up on the um, Little Free Library app and see if there's any Little Free Libraries in the area. And so I did uh, go and, and I'm just gonna go over a few, show you what I, picked up in the the little free libraries and then I just wanted to show you my book haul from the two well I went to two thrift stores in Iowa the first uh, one I, I didn't I did didn't really get anything because I was saving up I knew that the next um, thrift store that I had gone to the last time I went to Iowa I knew that they always had quite a bit more of a selection so I was kind of holding out for that and so I got most, I got all of them, <laughs> all of them, and I got such good books. Can't wait to show you too. So let me first start with the Little Free Library haul. Okay, so uh, the first one you saw was Summer of, of the Monkeys, and I picked this, I took, took this one because, like I said, this was my, my brother, my older brother, this was his favorite book in, in school. So, and I never read it, and I would love to read it, um, just to remember, as, as a remember, uh, remembrance of him and the things that he liked. So that's one I got, a free little, ready? Ooh, excuse me. And then this one I did end up getting for my husband and he really, really liked it. He saw this and said, hey, that's an awesome book. And this has to do with the, the real story of the shootout at OK Corral with, um, uh, what's the guy? The tombstone story, you know, uh, Ken really loves that movie, so. All right, and then I did pick up American Royals. This is the story of, this is kind of cool. It says, what if America had a royal family? You know, and this is supposed to be the Washington. So it's kind of like an alternate history, like if Washington, George Washington, instead of becoming president, he became like a king. Yeah, like a king, and then all his descendants were royalty. So if the United States had royalty. So I, I'm curious about this one. Let me know if you've read this, anybody. But I have heard it's pretty, pretty fun, pretty good. And then the last one I picked up was The 19th Wife. It's a historical fiction uh, by David er Ebershoff. And it has to do with Anna Eliza Young, who I guess was the 19th wife of uh, Mormon leader uh, Brigham Young. Who, Brigham Young, who is uh, in Utah, they have the Brigham, Brigham Young University named after him. And he had 
many wives during that period of time polygamy was um pretty um not i'm not sure i don't know if it was it might not have been even maybe maybe i don't know i can't remember but anyway he had many wives and uh, he was the leader at the time of the mormon church the the leading prophet and so this story this book is going to be a historical fiction about about her and anna eliza young and so i'm really curious about this also if there's anybody out there that has read this book you know let me let me know what you thought about it okay so those are the books that i got from the little free libraries and so now i will um I'm gonna drop these down here <laughs> i will show you the books that i picked up at the thrift store okay so the first one i got was this wonderful brand new pretty much brand new copy of the dutch house by ann patchett and I'm trying to think there was a couple there might have been a few of these that I actually had like on my in my cart on Pango books and this one definitely was because I had heard that this was really a really good book and this one is it says it's uh it's described as a dark compelling fairy tale and let's see it says at the end of the Second World War, Cyril Conroy, Conroy combines luck and a single canny investment to build an immense real estate empire, propelling his family from poverty to enormous wealth. His first order of business is to buy the Dutch house, a lavish estate in the suburbs of Philadelphia, meant as a surprise for his wife. The house sets in motion the undoing of everything he loves. And so, and that, I just think that's a beautiful cover. So I do, I don't know if you remember from the, from the video that I just uh, um, put up for you that at this particular bookstore, or not, it wasn't a bookstore, it was a thrift store, you hope, the books were 35 cents each or 10 books for $3. And that's all of them, hardbacks, everything, all their books. So 35 cents for a brand new book. It was just, yeah, so I knew I had to, um look and see if i found any good ones so there's that one and then this one i it's called chris uh, it's called the life intended and it's by kristen harmel and i just recognized the author and so i said well I, you know i'll pick this one you know 35 cents can't beat that so this is a book about it says finding love once is a gift finding it twice and it's about a young widow that lives in your a music therapist in New York City. So there's that one. I'm gonna I'm not gonna read the whole thing on each of these books because I have a big stack already. And so this one's another one that I thought was was amazing. And this one is called The Winter Sea by Susanna Kearsley. And I remember when I was looking up like time travel travel books, this author's name popped up. And I I think I've heard it kind of compared to maybe um the outline outlander kind of thing because it takes place in 1708 and it has to do with scott being a scottish um but i have heard it has to do with time some kind of time travel so and i just love that cover too so that one was a was a wonderful find now this book i have already read i read it last year but when i saw it i had to grab it because I think it, this one just recently came out in paperback. It came out um, on hard, yeah, it's 2020, 2023. So it's, you know, a pretty new book. This one's called Only the Beautiful by Susan, Susan, Susan Meisner. And if you have not read this book, I highly recommend it. This one is about, it is a, I'll have to get my, my Susan Meisner books in line. It has to do with, um uh, the eugenics um that was happening in the united states back in the early 40s uh 1938 uh, 40s and this was such a good story about a young woman that is growing up in california and loses her parents at a, a young age and her brother were in a an accident of some sort i can't remember quite but then she goes to live with some 
people at that run a vineyard. That's what has the vineyard. And she has, she has a condition and I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but it's a thing where she, when she sees, uh, when she hears sounds, certain sounds, she sees colors in her, you know, she sees colors. And her parents, when she was little, they try to, you know, don't say any, don't say anything to anybody because people might think you're odd. And this, I, you know, after after I read the book and I read the author's note, this that is a real condition that is people still have. And so it talks about a lot about that and how she dealt with that back in this day when, you know, um, people if if they if you said you had that you were they they contributed that to some kind of mental illness and that plays a part in, in in her story so great book like i said if you haven't read it this one i i highly recommend this one so i had to grab it this one i just recognized the name of the book it's called house of sand and fog you know it's been on the oprah's book book club and this is supposed to be a mixture of classical tragedy um suspense so has in happening in the california hills so and this is a, an older book too it's been let's see when was this first did this come out this was oh yeah it's pretty old 1999 so it's been around a while but there's that and then i picked up a jane Kirkpatrick book called A Light in the Wilderness and I love this cover too and this is a Christian fiction it says three very different women one dangerous journey and a future that seems just out of reach and has to do with an Irish um, immigrant and it looks like they're going a, a, a travel across like the Air Oregon Trail and I've read a, a couple books that are like that. So that is really, looks really good. Now this book, I remember um, somebody was talking about, and it was a while ago, somebody was talking about comparing different books to, you know, if you like this, you'll like this kind of book. And one of the, the books they were talking about was, oh yes, um, the recent uh, Hannah, Krista Hannah book, The Women, as about nurses in Vietnam and they said well if you like that book with nurses in Vietnam then you would like this book because this is about a women uh, female nurses in World War II and you know I love my World War II books and so I had you know that when I saw it I was like hey that's that book that they recommended and this was called The Fire by Night by Teresa Messonio Messon I think and so this is about a uh, female uh, it says 1943 World War II engulfs three continents. At its heart stand two women, U.S. Army nurses whose extraordinary heroism you have never heard of, but you will never forget. So it's like, I like those untold stories, just like the woman was about untold stories of those women in Vietnam, those nurses. So I was really excited when I saw this one. And again, a hardback, 35 cents, or even less than that because I got 10. <laughs> Or a little bit more to, more than 10. This is another one I picked up for my husband. This is called the Flags of Our Fathers. And they did make a movie of this that we did see. And this is about, it's a not, I believe it's a nonfiction about the, um, the men that served um, in World War II. So nice hardback copy that I got for him. He's really pleased with that one. Okay, the last stack here, because I did get a whole bunch of books. This one I thought was a super cool find. This is two books in one, because that's why it's so chunky, and it's Love and Other Detours. So it has Love and Gelato and Love and Luck. And I have seen several people talk about Love and Gelato, and I love the cover of that uh, Love and Gelato book. And this is by Jenna Evans Welch. So I thought that was great, a great find to get two for, two for one book. Uh, this one sounds really interesting. This one's called An Uncommon Protector, a Lone Star Hero's Love Story by Shelley Shepard Gray. I have several books by this author and I, I don't think I've read any of them. I've, they're just 
you know, piling up. So I actually need to, this might be the first one I read it first though, because it says, um, it says, overwhelmed by the responsibilities of running a ranch on her own, Laurel decides to hire a convict, a man who's just scary enough to take care of squatters and just desperate enough to agree to a one-year post. That's going to be interesting. So she hires a convict to protect her, her property because she's by herself. So it's probably going to be a love interest in there, I'm, I'm guessing. Maybe. We'll see. And then, of course, was this the only? No, I had a couple of the World War II books. Here's another one. This one's called uh, The Girl from the Ch 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 Channel Islands, uh, based on an incredible true story of courage and hope in World War, World War II. And this one takes place in the summer of 1940. It says, a, an evocative, beautifully written story of a young Jewish woman trapped on the occupied island of Jersey during World War II. Okay. And so that one is going to be added to my World War II shelf. This one is not World War II. This is um, Kindred. And it's a, I think it's a cool cover, uh, not a cool edition of Kindred. It is, this one is by author Olivia, uh, not uh, Olivia, Octavia Butler. And this is a, like a sci-fi book. It's a sci sci science fiction. And if I remember right, it is about a woman who time travels back, back to, let's see what, if they give me a year here. Um, she's from California and she gets, um, goes back in time to the days of slavery, I believe, and her experiences there. And I've heard so many things about this book. So when I saw it, I was like, you know, I'm gonna pick it up. And then the final book that I found is a book called Unraveled, and it's by Heidi Mac, uh, McCann. And this one, I picked it up because it said it was a religious, religious, says religious fiction, Christian fiction. And it says, Blindsided by her questionable fiance, Lauren Carter returns to the one place she's been avoiding, the place she used to call home, as she's forced to look into the eyes of her past and even worse, her unraveling future. She discovers that running only leaves you out of breath on a dead end street. Will she choose to unveil the secrets that haunt her or will she bury them once and for all and embrace a new life so different from the one she once held so dear? So I haven't heard of this uh, book or this author, but I, I guess I saw that and I thought, um, you know, I'll give it, you know, give it a try. So that is it. Those are all the books that I picked up on my um, vacation. And I have, as you can see, I really lucked out at that bookstore and got some good books. So thank you all for watching this video, uh, my little travel vlog, little free library hunt, bookstore haul, everything. It was all in one. So thank you so much and you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.